It's been a common theme for airline travelers the past week. Long delays, flight cancellations and hours long waits on hold, as at least one Canadian airline says Omicron cases among its staff are to blame. And because of Omicron, we're recognizing that the schedule that we had built months uh, months ago in preparation for the busy um, holiday travel period is, uh, is uh, being um, seen as uh, difficult for us to deliver. WestJet Airlines cut 15% of its flights through to the end of January. Thousands of flights on American Airlines have been cancelled as well. And Air Passenger Rights President Gabor Lukacs says those impacted should be entitled to compensation. You cannot blame your own failure to uh, have an adequate crew on the passenger. That's, that's, that's the airline's responsibility. Under the Air Passenger Bill of Rights, passengers are entitled to a full refund of their ticket or they must be booked on the next available flight. If that delay is too lengthy, you have the option to rebook a flight on a competing airline at the company's expense. Passengers are also entitled up to uh, $1,000 in lump sum cash compensation per passenger for flight delays and cancellations. But the legislation is not so cut and dry. And if mechanical or safety issues are to blame, you might be out of luck. You've got to be careful to read the fine print and find out what is going on and what you've committed to. Aviation analyst Carl Moore says if airlines are forced to pay out huge sums to holiday travelers, it could be problematic for the already struggling industry. If you don't get revenue, you don't make money, but you have to pay back money that you had in the cash reserves, that's really tough and was a huge challenge thus far for the airline industry worldwide during the pandemic. But for Lukacs, passengers need to be put first. And that means having the government review and simplify the complicated and often confusing Bill of Rights that he says is full of loopholes. Brittany Greenslade, Global News.